today I'm heading down to Cambridgeshire so I've got to go and paint a house that I've got down there because the tenants moved out so yeah I'm just gonna film my week basically and yeah I've got it's gonna take me three hours and 24 minutes to get down and then I'm gonna inspect the house, see what he's doing, paint it this week, and then come back to York. So, let's go. Stuff. Going down. I got some snacks, got some raspberries for the journey, and some chocolate biscuits, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I got myself a cold drink and a hot drink. Because that's what I do. Quick diesel top up. Oh my. Hit some traffic. Got to about near Hull and Pontefract. So, yeah, I think it's time to have a raspberry break. Yum, yum. Three hours later. Oh, God, I'm finally here. Three and a half hours later. Check the house out. I've not been in this house for about three and a half years. I'm gonna have to check everything over. Well. something too bad. Overall, the house is not too bad. Left some rubbish and it's not a bit dirty. It doesn't get the bathrooms clean. So, but apart from that, it's not too bad. But yeah, I'll start painting it tomorrow. And get it looking fresh. So it's the next morning now. Uh, I've got too, it was too dark there, so I went back, slept, and now it's today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna go check it out and make a start on clearing it. Several days later. What a busy week we've had. So I've cleared out everything from the house. Um, cleaned up the gardens a bit rid of some rubbish um, and fully redecorated the property so let's go take a look so this is now what the hallway looks like that fresh ceilings walls would work new feature wall into the kitchen everything's freshly painted Going into, we've got downstairs toilet here, freshly painted. Added a feature wall in there as well. It's a lot nicer. Living room. Everything's just freshly painted. Kept that feature wall. Cleared the back garden a bit. A lot nicer now. Up the stairs, always been completely redecorated. Into the bathroom, which has been decorated all white now. So, and then into this bedroom. 
freshened up. And then into what is the main bedroom. Completely freshened up, kept the feature wall. But yeah, so that's all done now. So I've booked in for a bloke to come, a uh, company. They're gonna deep clean the whole house and take away all the rubbish that the old tenant left. And I've actually, I think I've practically got a new tenant lined up to move in next week. Anyway, so they'll do all that on, um, in a couple of days. Clean all the windows inside and out, clean out the gutters, everything, so it'll all be brand new and nice. And we go again, get the house let. Now I can go home. Hello, I've got Arla with me. This is your post bath interview. So what do you think about that bath? Was it good? Do you think it went, everything went your way? Are you very clean? Are you squeaky clean now, Arla? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. So you enjoyed that, yeah? And that wraps up your post bath interview. Say hello. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. What? Hello, I'm back. It's um, now Sunday morning. I had a few days off um, from filming. Um, as I finished the house and then I went to see some family and drove home back up north now. Now it's Sunday and we're going to Pontefract. Which we're going to a pumpkin picking place on a farm. Farmer Copley's land. So we're gonna pick a few pumpkins. Um, and then I'm going to watch the Arsenal game because we're playing Manchester City and it's going to be a tough one. This looks like it might be a Haribo factory because look, Haribo, massive building. We definitely need to go and break into that. Not all the, my favourite Haribos are the ones that are busy and they have the white on the bottom, you know what I mean? They have white like marshmallow bit on the bottom and then gummy stuff on the top. We're arriving here now at Farmer Copley's. Just parking up, looking for somewhere to park. Ah, so. Turns out it's actually a pumpkin festival that we're going to in Pontefract, all over here. So I had no idea what I was getting myself in for. <laughs> I've literally never seen so many pumpkins in my life. There's just loads. You, you could just fill up a wheelbarrow. Just collect them. Mad.
food break. Got pulled pork, barbecue sauce and chips. Just demolished them chips. They were really good actually. Just doing a bit more exploring now. There's some fancy coffees there. There's even a tractor that's taking kids round and they're like all attached to the back of these little pumpkin things. It's funny. The tractor's over there. It takes people round. There's just so many pumpkins everywhere. We're, we're trying to find ones that are unusual colors, but a lot of them have already been taken. Look at all of them. Look at this pumpkin house. Look how cool these ones are. Look at him, half and half. And him. They're well cool. There's more here. Look. These ones are big. Look, it's huge. There's my foot. That looks like the car off um, Jeepers Creepers. Look how big that chair is. There's a real life beehive there in the shop. That's crazy, making honey. Okay, now back to the flat. I'm gonna show you what pumpkins we've got. So we've got this guy, very light orange. Good shape and size. We've got this tiny little one. Orange. We've got a white one unique shape we've got a big silvery one he's a big boy and then we've got this green and yellow one probably gonna make some soups and some pumpkin pies and stuff like that okay so we're now just walking to the pub to watch Arsenal v Man City huge game today huge game the teams are out, um, unfortunately Saka is not playing, he's injured and it's, the, you know, I think he's played like 87 games in a row. So that's going to be a huge miss for us. Man City are without De Bruyne, um, who else is out for them? Rodri, which is a big miss for them, but I don't know how to call this one. I'm hoping that it will be 2-1 to Arsenal but it would be extremely tough as we haven't beaten them for about seven years in the league. But we'll see. I'll see my, my reaction after the game, see if I'm still smiling. Big branch has fallen off a tree here. Look at that, just fell off. Look at it. Christ, imagine that landed on you. You'd be dead. 
what a game. Just finished. Martinelli scored a winner two minutes from time. We've just beaten Man City 1-0. First time we've beaten them in the league for seven years. And we've gone joint top. Shame we're not top, but massive win for us. Absolutely buzzing with that. I did think someone was going to score a winner in the last couple of few minutes and they did. Huge, huge, huge win. Absolutely buzzing. Oh, when, the, when the goal went in, I literally was just jumping around the pub. I was hugging random men. <laughs> oh, it was just, I wish I got that on film. That would have been so funny. Me and this random man just started hugging each other. <laughs> Come on, the Arsenal. I gotta get more. 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 I gotta get more.